there, it's Veronica. Welcome not only to my YouTube channel, but to my living room. Yes, I've changed locations today simply because my mom's upstairs, so she's making a lot of noise. And there are kids' neighbors next door, and they have two dogs and six puppies, and, and there's just howling and kids screaming in the garden and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, it's not about what's going on and why I'm changing, you know, why I'm filming in a different location or a different room. It's about, it's about my obsession and my unhealthy spending habits on makeup. And even my mum says, why? Why do you still buy makeup? Don't you have full drawers of it? Yes, I have full 10 drawers of it, plus a couple boxes as well. So, yeah, <laughs> so basically this is what I'm going to talk about to you about today. My unhealthy obsession. Yes, yes it is indeed. So I'm just gonna dive in and I'm gonna pick three products that are on offer at the Goods 342 at the moment and it's these three that I bought. Now this particular foundation is the 24 hour wear Revlon Color Stay Combination Oily uh, with SPF 15 foundation in 180 sun beige. I've swatched two other shades. This seems to be the best match. Fingers crossed it is because fingers crossed it is because I have five foundations upstairs that I don't use. Yes, I don't use five. They literally been swatched and never been used. So I'll be doing a declutter, most definitely, because I need to get rid of things. Now it's a glass bottle with a pump, so it's a different. I think the first time I looked at it, it didn't have a pump, but now I think they're selling off their old stock and uh, basically bringing the new ones into the pump. These are $12.99, so they're quite pricey, so I am hoping that this is going too much, because if not, I am giving up from foundations. Seriously, I am. I'll keep using powder, powder and powder, powder and concealer, foundation, powder, powder. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I'll be testing that out. <clears throat> The next thing that I bought uh, for the 342 is the Revlon, Revlon Color Stay Concealer in 02 Light Pale. So it's a doff applicator, just like that. It's a lovely light color. Uh, it should work well with my skin, fingers crossed. I've never tried it before, so it's something new to test out. Now, the other thing that I bought from Revlon to get the offer basically is the new. 010 Clear Transparent Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine. It's a balm. It's very much like soap in a way, I find. So it's, it looks like that. So see, so it's sort of like, you know, when you, oh, yes, I know what it reminds me of. Uh, Beauty Blender, the, the white solution that you put the brushes in. What is it called? Now I can't remember. Seriously, what is it called? Um, I will, now I will remember when I switch off the video, I will remember or finish the video. So, yes, yeah, so it's got a sponge applicator and it's a balm. It's nice, lovely, smooth. It feels beautiful on the skin, velvety. Yeah, fingers crossed it's going to work with everything else. A primer, a new primer is always a good thing. Now, the other two things, they also were 342 on Rimmel, but I only bought two products. I just couldn't find the third one and then I counted it together and I thought no, what's the point. So I repurchased my uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in 001 Transparent. This is my go-to pressed powder, I won't use anything else. I've tried other things, they don't work, this does the job for me. So, uh, you know, yeah, I keep using it. So I keep buying new ones just because I'm a makeup junkie, but yeah, it's it's this one is probably, it's, it is the best. It's not even probably, it's one of my most repurchased products. So yeah, there we go, so it looks like that. My current one is about to give out because once I hit pan, it crumbles everywhere. So I know it's not long before it starts to crumble and it just has to go. So I never actually, I don't think I ever finished the whole thing simply because it will get, it will get to a point where I need to have it in a zip bag and it's just everywhere. So there's no point. The other thing that I bought is the Rimmel Match Perfection a Skin Tone Adapting Concealer, a two in one concealer and highlighter in 030 Classic Beige. Uh, it's just another concealer. It's um, let me try it. Um, it looks quite nice. It seems to conceal quite well. So fingers crossed, it's going to work with my skin. And it's more of a brush applicator. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that. 
<clears throat> I used to use it years ago and I didn't get along well with it, but I thought I'd give it another go. Um, now the uh, the thing that I bought next is this bourgeois rice powder. I've never tried it. It's a beautiful pot. It looks very much like a balm product, not to say a bourgeois one really. Well, starting with B. Um, this was mentioned by Leah from Leah Excel channel. I will link her channel below. She's lovely. So, you know, if you're here, <laughs> go and check her out uh, if anybody's watching this. Um, and yeah, she, she's lovely. I love watching her videos. She's real, you know, um, she films nearly every day, possibly every day. I don't know how she manage this, man manages it because, to be honest, I'm losing light now and I get irritated if it's not light enough. So, and I can't switch on the big light because it's just terrible. Anyways. Back to the powder. So I was looking for a loose powder and she said in her most repurchased products, five most repurchased products video, that this is her most repurchased product for uh, basically one of her most, five most repurchased products. And how many times am I going to say most repurchased? Seriously. Oh, my leg is cramping. Oh, excuse this. Oh, it's going to fall asleep, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll be giving it a go because I really want to try a loose powder. Now the other two things that I have were only 50p each and actually one of them was 59 So and it's just some basics that I needed to repurchase anyway. So it's a Boots Baby cotton buds just there for makeup corrections and then Boots Baby safety buds just there for my ears. So that's just a random thing. <laughs> now the other thing I spotted when I was in Boots a couple of days ago and I was looking at soap and glory products. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't go to Boots without actually looking at Soap and Glory. And it's the Soap and Glory Original Pink, Sugar Rose and Berg, 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 Bergamon, Bergamot Fragrance, fragrance Mist. Seriously, what is it going on today? The worms are not coming out. Um, my friend would argue that they never do. So, <laughs> so yeah, it looks like this. That's the box. And that's how the bottle looks. And... My leg is killing, it froze, ow. Um, and it looks like this, so it's a beautiful baby pink bottle. Um, it's, it was £3.50, so I thought I'll give it a go. And I don't know why I do it as a perfume, it's a body mist. Yeah, it smells very fresh, very nice, and it's gonna be quite nice um, now that spring, summer are coming, so just something a little bit more light and refreshing. Now, the last thing, it's a birthday present, so I was tempted not to show you actually, but I thought it, this is a haul, so I will, and hopefully she will as well when she gets it. And it's a belated, very, very belated birthday present. So it's the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner Set, just there, and I will show you the inside. I won't tell you how much it costs, Ooh, quite get, look. Dark light, dark light. Anyways, <laughs> I'm playing with the lights, and it has got five of the smudge sticks in the inside. So I was quite happy to see it. It was on sale, shouldn't really say that, but it was on sale, and I thought, yeah, I cannot pass that up. So I thought I'll get it, and it will be a present. So yeah, so that's it. Basket's empty. So thank you very much for watching. This was my first ever haul. Was it? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Especially with Boots Hall. So, thank you very much for watching. Again. And I'm not gonna say it again, am I? <laughs> so, yeah. I will... The, yeah. No, I can't say it. <laughs> um, I will see you soon. Bye.